Nature, it seems, has a thing about symmetry. When we encounter it, it makes us smile. When we seek it out, we find so many forms balanced and ordered, aligned and precise. We love this. Children and adults can lose themselves staring into the endless shifting symmetry of the kaleidoscope. But why? Why do we love a building like this, regardless of its size? It's the symmetry. Why have centuries of artists equated beauty with symmetry? In ancient Greece, Aristotle wrote, the mathematical sciences particularly exhibit order, symmetry, and limitation. And these are the greatest forms of the beautiful. Symmetries can be rotational or radial, like a bicycle wheel, which looks the same after we rotate our vantage point around a single axis. Reflection symmetry occurs when two halves of an object are perfect mirrors, like the butterfly. One tip of a symmetrical snowflake tells us something about all the tips. One petal of the lotus teaches us about all the others. And one cell of a honeycomb allows us to understand the structure of an entire hive. With symmetry as a guide, a complex system can reveal itself, be made simpler and easier for us to understand. Knowing the symmetry enables scientists to make predictions, as Einstein did when he published his theory of general relativity in 1915. Symmetry operates at many levels. Young German mathematician Emmy Noether lived the asymmetry of being the sole woman in a world of all men. She was a Jew in Nazi-occupied Europe, but she found a stunning symmetry in her equations. She formulated what we now call Noether's theorem, which says that any symmetry we see in nature has a corresponding conserved quantity. That symmetrical bicycle wheel, for example, keeps its rider upright due to conservation of angular momentum. Experiments confirming the predictions of Einstein, Noether, and others have convinced many scientists that symmetry is at the very heart of our understanding of the universe. They've proposed an even deeper space-time symmetry called supersymmetry, which describes a world in which each particle in nature has a superpartner or companion particle at the newly upgraded CERN Super Collider in Switzerland, the race is on to test that theory. Symmetry has always entranced our eyes and minds, but is it also a clue to the deeper order of the universe?